Thanks for tuning in. We're Julie and Dana, two moms navigating marriage and motherhood. But this is definitely not your mom's podcast. Okay. Hey guys, this is Julie and I'm Dana and this is not your mom's podcast. And today I want to actually ask you, you just went on a cruise. Oh yeah. I want to hear the pros and cons of the cruise because this was your first time cruising. I haven't even had time to think about this. (laughs) I've been trying to get my life back in order, right? Does everyone feel like that when they come back from all this stuff? So all in all, I'll say um, we were with a party. Let me color this a little bit. We were with a party of 10, which is my family, which Mm -hmm. is five of us, three kids, one older. One that it's an adult. She's 19. And then um, my husband's mother and father. And then my husband's um, sister and her two girls. We were like, I don't know, like teenagers. So a so ten big of group, different ages. Yeah. All different ages. So I will say in past, like being together with a group of 10, it's always been hard to figure out what restaurant we're going to go to, dividing mm-hmm. the cars and figuring out where and timing and stuff and it was really nice being one location yes and we didn't we just did the dining like it was an option to pay for like the better dining or whatever upgrade, yeah. but like at the moment it was like especially like the first two nights it was like we'll just go with the dining so it was like there was no you just so showed simple. up you just showed up for food yeah and then you either went to the pool deck or waited to the next like thing that happened like, i knew you were gonna like whatever. that part because you always like that when we go to certain like conventions and stuff you like when we have like everything in walking distance everything like yeah. nearby you it's don't have to, like think condensed. about it yeah. yeah and then like the great thing too is like if you want to go back to your room you're like just go back to your room real quickly you didn't have to like drive in a car yes. so like even when they come here they have a condo on the island but it's still 40 minutes away you can recharge your battery and then like go upstairs and then come back down and be like okay i'm ready yeah so i love that all in all i like that unfortunately the weather was a little bit eh in the first two days we yeah. didn't get like the sun into loud you went at a pool. weird part of the year i did um and but like yeah i don't know we didn't actually get the drink package okay we didn't get the drink package we had the one where you can get like juice and coffee and sparkling yeah, water like the soda e package, emily yeah. was the only one which is trevor's sister that got the drink packages so she would just go to like one bar and then walk over and give it to me and then go to a different bar yeah and they didn't really care and and i also bought two bottles of wine and then so did his mom so like i yeah, have so my tip wine for at anyone night cruising yeah tip for anyone you're cruising. allowed to bring um, I think it depends most, on the cruise. Yeah, I was going to say on most cruise ships, I think, because I've done Norwegian, Carnival, Princess. Yeah, and we did Royal Caribbean. Royal if Caribbean. Anybody wanted you could to bring know, one bottle per person that's over 21 in the room. Mm-hmm. And you could also bring like a pack of like water or soda. Yeah, we didn't do that since I had that. Right. I kept, everywhere really I went, I asked for a bottle either. of water. So Same. it was great. So I was good to go. Um, so yeah, I'd have like my wine, like, you know, my pregame or my midnight. And then during the day, if I wanted a cocktail, my my sister-in-law would go get it because she would just get like one for Trevor and I, right? Yeah. And maybe another one before nighttime. And then I'd order one drink at dinner. Yeah. So it was like fine. Yeah. It really was fine not getting the I, – I don't think I could have drank all the – but she she did. She did really to us. She started like mimosas and then yeah. she'd have like a fruity drink and then a the margarita The nice part about the drink beer. package is just knowing that you don't have a bill at the end. You already Absolutely. paid for it. Whatever you drink, you drink. But like yes. me and John always felt the same way, especially because we do – cruises that tend to do a lot of island days like we yeah. like the cruises that are heavy on the islands yeah so like if we're off the ship four days yeah what are we really paying for exactly. you know exactly the thing with us is we're a family of five yeah. so we can't get one room for the most part yeah um we have to separate which is like the downfall once you have three kids yeah so we have to get two co- adjoining rooms yeah so technically one adult has to be in each one. So like he's assigned to one room and I'm assigned to the other Wait, room. So every time you go on a cruise, you guys have to do that or are you just push in one room? No, we can't. No, I mean like no one can tell how your sleeping arrangement is. Like how do you use those two rooms? Oh, so well we use them since we have them. I mean, do you like feel safe with the girls being in that room with So the door we leave open? the doors open. Yeah, okay. So like it's an adjoining room. So we leave the doors open. And Jack will be in your- And so Jack usually was is with us and the girls okay. usually have their own room and then that's they have nice. their own bathroom, which is nice. Oh, that's nice because the bathrooms are small. Yeah, they're really small. But they have like a little shelf under to put all they're your fine, shit. Yeah. And like it was there's good for room storage, under though. the bed to put all your suitcase. Yes. There's like a little tiny closet. I'm trying to think all the oh. It helped. I know this is a luxury. Um, and by the way, I didn't pay for this cruise. My mother in law was very generous. So, <laughs> so lucky. I didn't I have to like budget things. Um, that will be like the only time she does. It well, was like her let her know gift. if she ever does it again that I am a chosen family member. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is my adopted sister. Yeah. Um, we did have a balcony, and that was absolutely like breathtaking and amazing from yeah. the morning to the afternoon to the night. Yes. There were so many different times of the day we're just going out there. It was like meditative. We love the balcony. Me and John have always done balconies. I always felt like for a few reasons, 
one when the kids went to sleep it was like nice to just like leave the door open and we could sit on the balcony and have like a glass of wine yeah and just kind of like hang out and just like you said like just getting some fresh air yeah. by yourself without being on like a deck with everyone yes um and at night it's so nice out there i think it's so cool how dark it is and like yes. the stars that you I can know. see and you start stuff. like pondering it's about the beautiful. meaning of life yeah <laughs> i like, love waking up in the morning and going yeah. right out there but this cruise that we're going on in June will be the first cruise we've ever done where we did an interior room. Okay. And I'm like nervous about it. I well, I, I take it back. I did one when I was like 19 because I was I don't with, think like so. a bunch of girls. The kids are going to be older. They're going to stay up later. You guys are probably just going to crash. So that's what John was saying. And we were really trying to keep this cruise cheaper because it's yeah. a long cruise and it's mm-hmm. going to like some nice places. Yeah. So it's one of the more like expensive cruises. You're like, cruises. okay, I'm going to make this budget. Yeah. Cut, like- and I was like, I have to make this budget friendly because we have to get two rooms. It's yeah. two rooms or a family suite. But the thing is, is you have to weigh it out. So this is a good tip for anyone who's cruising with a family of five or more. You have to weigh it out because you always get credits. Carnival tends to give credit. So like the family suite and two rooms might be the same price. And you might oh. be tempted to be like, let me just do the family suite. But the thing is, is like, for example, on our last cruise, the family suite was going to give us a $500 credit because the promo they were running was $500 credit for wow. every room you get. Well, if we did two rooms, it's the same price, but we got a thousand dollar credit because you got five hundred for each. That paid for all of our excursions, all of our $1, stuff. Thousand like, dollars credit. Huge. I wonder if that like my mother in law got credits for like all those. I don't rooms. know. Royal Caribbean, I think, is more expensive. Okay. But I mean, I'm sure they do credits too sometimes. I will my dad say- cruises for free because of the casino credits. Damn. Yeah, like they'll send him like a free cruise. Damn. Um, we did get the room too that it was a couch that converted to a bed. Yes. And so there's ones that we like we saw rooms when we walked by where they had like fucking bunk beds like over the bed i'm like what if they like roll out on top of you one two the what if they need got that with me what if they like need to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night you have to like pull them down and like let them plop on the bed and like yeah. that's a disruption to my sleep so you know me and my sleep i will pay for that mm-hmm. i mean i don't that's know how much why i love the two rooms to be was. honest oh i, I know. actually feel great about it yeah i mean that's a luxury thing and we have to like keep in mind like if people are budgeting I, I, i'm just well, saying I like i don't choice. know what i've never had the bunk beddy type thing above yeah. my bed situation i would just assume that I'd be a little nervous of them falling. Yeah, and, I could like, see that. I would too. The interruption of maybe like bathroom breaks. Cruising overall is super budget friendly though. I mean like when yeah. you price out, we've priced Although out Although we didn't of- like have like the, like you know how you said you were so excited for like those excursion and ports. We didn't get off on Nassau because like my, brother's, like, my mother-in-law was like, it's not that great. People are pushy. Let's utilize the cruise ship because there was a lot of fun things on there to do. And we did that day and I didn't feel like I was missing anything. It was the first day. Yeah. Or the next day, we had yeah. the first day, um, and the first day was kind of crappy weather, so, yeah. and even the second day. And then all we did was go to, like, what, that Coco Cay or Coco mm-hmm. Bay, which was, like, that private island. And so we went to a beach, and we hung out. And then the next day, we stayed on the boat. Like, I – we only – so it was, like, a four-night. I didn't feel like – I felt like that was perfect. To, like, get up every day and have this excursion was actually – it's not my idea of a vacation. Like, I want to be able to relax. And if I felt like there was places I needed to go and visit, like – I don't feel like I'm truly relaxing. Maybe on my next cruise I will, but for this first yeah. one, it was perfect. One port I don't to like look a forward relaxing to. Vacation. What? I don't like a va- relaxing vacation. Well, that wasn't relaxing. We got up and did shit every fucking day. I'm just saying that's not what I look for. But I didn't have to like plan for the day and like be like, okay, I'm gonna be out of the room all day. It was so nice to know that like yeah. I don't know, there's a lot of flexibility in well, knowing I there was do only one love thing to come up on. The well that is a part of the cruising that I love. I love that you like you know, a to mix. see a bunch of places, well just I right? like a mix of it all like I love that you have your days at sea that you could just chill you can go back yeah. to your room you could hang out do all the stuff and then I love the port days when we go to certain ports that I yeah. want to go to because I love exploring new places so yeah. it's like you know getting off like one of my favorite cruises was the one we did last time it was Aruba Curacao Turks like that sounds amazing it was incredible it and like to beautiful. see all those things and we did fun things like we brought a babysitter, so mm. we were able to. We got off the boat in Aruba. I mean, uh, no, we got off the boat in Dominican without the kids, and we left the kids with the babysitter oh, on the boat. Well, it was my cousin. Scary. I don't know why, but it seems and scary. Like, went, what if something happened to you, and like they like ship off, and like you never came? back? I mean, we did a very short excursion. We did. <sighs> okay. We just did like a um mud, whatever it was. Um, what is that called? Like a go kart? Okay, but not yeah mud buggying. I think that's it. Mud mudding, bucking. I think you just call it. Whatever. Right? Like in the big We did that, like four wheeling through the mudding, mudding, and it was so much fun. How fun. And then in Aruba, we did a big excursion with the kids, and yeah. same with Curacao yeah, and all yeah. that. Um, but I don't know. Like, my kids have seen so much because of it. They went True. swimming in the ocean with, like, stingrays, like wild stingrays in the middle That's of a sandbar. Cool. They went through caves in Curacao. They yeah. went, like, That's hiking true. I just like, a different Aruba. cruise to, like, get that experience. Yeah, it's fun. It's just a nice mix. Yeah. But I do agree. Like, there are certain ones, like Grand Turk, we've been to it so many times. and. 
we really just sit on the beach when we go. Yeah. Because it's just like, you know, it's one of those ones that we're like, eh, like we, there's not much to do. And if there's yeah. not much to do, why like push it? Like I'd rather have a relaxing day. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good well, mix. it's hard to have also, here we are in that part of your life. There's no relaxing. Jack wants to run around. Your yes. girls want to do things. So there's no relaxing day. Like, That's true too. With my kids, like we were doing things, a lot of things on the boat. So to have that one day on the beach, they got it. They like ran around the beach. We got, or they, you can get as many French fries, hot yeah. dogs and hamburgers. They're busy with like food and stuff. But I couldn't imagine trying to relax four days in a row. No, that's not going to happen. They yeah. want to do shit. Like I get that. So, and the last thing I'll add is that being on a cruise for New Year was like, Awesome. Obviously, it nowhere to drive. It looks so fun with the balloons coming oh, down. Oh, yeah. And everyone, stuff. it was like this big street party, but like yeah. on a boat yes. and like pizza, like anytime you want. I mean, I know that's on every cruise or like whatever, but like so nice to know that if you decided to have drinks, nowhere to drive, can yep. crash back in the room. Yeah. I don't know, can sleep in. I don't know. It's just a nice way to do New Year's. Did you get sick at all? That was one of your concerns. No, but I was on that scopolamine or whatever it was, yeah. which is a patch by me year's prescription. One of the things my doctor was saying is like, are you sure you want to be on this? It's supposed to like blur your vision. I'm like, I'm freaking blind anyway. Like, who cares? Like, <laughs> slap that shit on. I was more nervous about being nauseous. Like, yeah. I was blind, Dana. I really? couldn't read a single text or anything on the pieces of paper they handed out or anything. Oh God, I had to ask scary. Trevor for everything. I'm like, I literally was doing this. Like, I had to squint because I have like um, what's called stigmatism and bring it close to my face. I look like a nut. And then I'd be like. What does this say? Like every two seconds, he'd be like, and then he told me, he's like, I kind of like that you're like depending on me. I'm like, oh, oh my God, shut up. Wait, but yeah, I was blind. I wonder if you would have gotten sick without them though. I know me too. All right. Or like I could have done, so I didn't know that there was a non-drowsy Dramamine because like yeah. his whole family's like, just take Dramamine. I'm like, yeah. no, that makes me sleepy because that's what other people were saying that I was reading. And they're like, we have non-drowsy. And I was like, oh. Someone told me about this shit. I get super seasick and I and super motion sickness, and I don't get seasick on cruises. So on top of not being able to see it, sort of made me kind of like, woo. And Trevor said like the first, because I ended up stopped taking it like the the day before the last or something. The first two days, I was like not myself. I was like almost like a robot because I fa- kind oh, of I felt like dizzy. That. And I couldn't focus. Yeah. So like my ADHD-ness was like kind of off in Zala land. For like two whole days, I was off in Zala Land. Could have been overstimulation. It could have been I didn't. Yeah. I was trying to absorb everything, but then on top of that medication, I just kind of wasn't myself. I wasn't unhappy. I just wasn't like this me. Yeah. I was just kind of like that's so weird. You know, like okay, you'll have to try it. Would you do it again? Would you go on a cruise again? Yes, Trevor and I thought like it'd be fun for just him and I to do one. Okay. We think that that would be a lot more fun and we would totally do everything differently yeah. in the way that you would with when you go with the family. And definitely. I would definitely go with his family again. And then I would definitely go with just my immediate family. Yeah. And I would definitely go with friends. So yeah. because I think it's a great way to, like you said, kind of get everything in. Yeah. A little bit and of not everything. not have to drive. Did the kids love it? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Of course they did. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. It's a fun trip. I was happy about like all the food. There's lots of options for me. I'm not a picky eater, but like I don't want fried shit all the time. Right. And I don't need fancy dinners either. Right. So it was a good mix of like yeah, everything. in between. Yeah. Yep. No, yeah. I'm definitely like pro cruise. I mean, I know people have had some horror stories, but I just think so many cruises go out every day that you're going to have horror stories, you know, like. Just being kind of heard like cattle in it's the beginning and the end. Yes. I was like, fuck Day one this shit. and the last day. I felt like I was going to the airport and stuff. I was like, they don't even make the inside nice, like where you go like yes. through and get like security checked no. and stuff. But it, okay. Oh, um, one last thing to wrap it all up, and maybe it's just Royal Caribbean. I don't know anything about Carnival, which I I would think from what people say is more like a party cruise. But like Trevor looked at me, he's like, I get it. He's like, because everyone, it was like a big party on the pool deck. Like every day, twenty four hours a day, there was like yeah, sexiest man contest. Oh yeah, all the belly stupid flop, stuff. Yeah, yeah, all the stupid stuff, and everyone's like drinking. I oh, another thing, I couldn't believe how comfortable people were to just nap on lounge chairs. Everywhere I walked, I felt like I was like in a homeless city. When people Everyone on a cruise, were like all wrapped up in their towels and they're yes. like, what people with their on like cruise drink in their don't hands. give a fuck. They don't care. They're so comfortable in yes. their skin. And I was like, this is just a floating party. Yes. That's what it is. Yes. It's a party on the sea. Yeah. And Did I'm you like, hear about that couple I- that retired and they just cruise now? <laughs> They retired and they priced out what it would cost to like get a townhouse or like an assisted living or anything like that. And it was so expensive. And they were like, how are we going to ever retire? So then they priced out a cruise. They live on cruise ships. They just change cruise ships every month. And they, I don't know about that. I know. But like, listen, it cost them like a couple of thousand dollars and foods included. Their gyms included. They have everything. Cleaning service. Like 
they are just living Maybe their life. Maybe that would be something interesting to do for a year. That's what I said. I was like, I don't think I could do it for more than a year, but yeah. I guess that's kind of cool. Like, kind of neat. I guess I would want to be on like, don't you want your feet in like the soil? I guess they do that like a few trees. times every week. That's true. They can get off and do it. Yeah. I don't know. Everyone wants a home though, right? Like I a guess. Nest, a place to go back to. I don't know. Maybe not everyone, but. It is an interesting concept. Yeah, so it is interesting, and it was something that they just felt like they were able to afford a little bit easier. Mm. It's pretty funny. Yeah. So yeah, I will give um not two thumbs up because I need more experiences, but I'll give a thumbs up to the cruise experience. All right, it was that's pretty fair. good. I'd give good. it like a an A minus because right. I don't know what an A plus would be quite yet. So while you were gone, yeah. um the Gypsy Rose story is like blowing up. I know, I know. I don't, I was just telling you, I don't know too much about it. All All I know is that like the mom had like, Mun, is it Munchausen? Munchausen's by and, proxy. Yeah, and then like she would make her child sick and then, then I don't know the story from that to like her getting this boyfriend where he like stabbed her to death or something. Yes, yeah, so like I'm in the middle of a documentary right now. Lifetime has like this whole documentary. I'm in the middle of it so I haven't finished it and I, so I'm, some of my knowledge is just based on like what I've heard and not like actually seen in the documentary, but I, what I know so far is she did, ha- she was born with a couple of issues, which apparently the um, psychologist was saying that's usually how Munchausen's by proxy starts. It's like they the, see the attention they get yes. from like an initial illness. Correct. Or disease. Right. So you have They're Munchausen's, like, wow, which is where you, you pretend you're sick. And then yeah. Munchausen's by proxy where you Oh, by proxy. I see what you're saying. Why, I was like, why do you keep saying by proxy? I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> by proxy means that you're making someone else sick because okay. you like to care for them and you like that attention. <sighs> yeah. So like at first she did need like eye surgery. Like she had like a lazy eye okay. and like she had some sleep apnea. But after that, like everything after that, there's no proof that any of it happened. I mean, she faked that her daughter had leukemia. How do you fake that, though? I don't know. And this is what I don't understand. And this is where my mind is blown, especially like as a nurse. Like I'm like, yeah. how did you fake things? Now, I know this was a while ago. So like testing was different. Medical records were different. Okay. There was probably more paper medical records, which probably gets thrown yeah. off. Like now we can find like now Maybe like someone comes things, from another right? hospital and like I can get all of their labs. I can get all of their stuff. Like, I know everything about them already before they even walk in the door, you know? Where then the hospitals didn't share that network. And so maybe that was a little bit easier. Right. But still, how did you... This girl had surgeries done to her. All different surgeries. They put a feeding tube in her because the mom said she doesn't like to eat. That was it. That was all the proof you well, needed. Think about, I bet there's people now that have feeding tubes with the same situation where it's like they don't feel like eating. Like, is there like some protocol you have to do where it's like, well, you you have to. You have but to eat. But the thing was she was eating. This was all made up. Right. So it wasn't like she wasn't eating and she was starving herself. She was eating. And the mom got a feeding tube put in her. And one of the psychologists said that that's super common in Munchausen's to get a feeding tube because then the caretaker is able to administer any meds through it because like you just put the you crush the meds up and you put it through the peg tube okay you could administer any meds you want through it or any poisons you can administer food or you could take away food it's ultimate control it's like the last part of control you are just controlling cold chills everything so do you think munchausen's by proxy is someone with major control issues or wants the attention i think it's a lot of mental health issues well yeah obviously that's an umbrella for it all but like is it mainly one or the other or probably all of it I think it's a mixture. I think they want the attention. I think they like being a caregiver and having someone dependent on them. Like when she talks about, they asked her, they were like, do you think your mom loved you? And she was like, yeah, Yeah. I think my mom loved me when I was a baby. And I think the older I got and the less control she had, she stopped loving me. And it was a way to make her, she also changed her age. She said she was younger than she was. Like she wanted How do you just stop loving someone though? I'm sure she loved her from beginning to end, but everyone- I know this. the whole story's fucked and I'm not saying this situation, but everyone loves differently and maybe just the love was there at the beginning, but then her mental illness polluted that yeah. delusional world of what like obviously, you know, real love is for your children. And Well, but- you know, I was also wondering, so she talks about going to her grandparents a lot. And you know what's so weird? The family didn't intervene, which I, I know is like on the outside looking in probably easier to say, but like they said like – the mom made her sit in a wheelchair all the time, but she could walk. But she told everyone she couldn't walk. So, like, the family saw her, like, jumping on a trampoline. 
Mm-hmm. And then the mom came up and she like went flat and like went back in the wheelchair and the mom was like pissed off at her. Like, why did no one intervene? Like they said, like, you know, when her mom got into went into hospital, the grandparents were watching her and she, they never used the feeding tube once because she was always eating. Yeah. And it's like, what? They probably just didn't think that they had much knowledge. Like, okay, I know. she's probably just trying to be careful. Like, remember when Freya had that like blood disorder and yeah. I didn't want her to like slip and like hit her head or whatever because she'd like bleed out because her blood couldn't clot or whatever. So like she would like run. I'd be like, Freya, 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 don't run, please. Like you're freaking me out. Like maybe they just thought like maybe, but like the she end was result saying, like, could they lead couldn't to something. Walk. Like if you tell if you told me Freya couldn't walk and needed a wheelchair and all of a sudden I saw Freya walking and on a trampoline, I'd be like, yeah, what? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's pe- just people weird. are just dumb. Like, people also don't like to, they don't know the whole story, so yeah. they don't want metal if they don't know the whole story. But yeah, I mean, I mean they got it's a weird that they didn't question them. it. It's weird that they didn't say. It's crazy. And then Gypsy Rose claims that she was, I don't know what I could say on here, essayed. Can you figure out what I mean by that? No. Abused, like. Oh, okay. So she claims that her grandfather did that to her. Oh, well, now uh-huh. that no wonder they're not saying shit. I know. She, he claims no. And the whole family's like, I don't think so. It's like this whole thing that like no one, it, there's no proof well, in it. Well, this little girl's messed up. But she might be just saying things to say That's things. what someone said. But then my mind was like, well, maybe her mom was by her dad too, because you don't just start doing that at 70 years Absolutely. old. Absolutely. And that maybe added to her mental health condition. Absolutely. So maybe that is all true. And it did all happen. It's, it's just all crazy. All- so Man. anyway, long story short. She lived a horrible life. She was abused mentally, verbally, physically. Her mom started shaving her head and said that she had cancer and was going through chemo. Her Everyone believed her. Habitat for Humanity built an entire house for them. Like, she manipulated everyone. I will say she was a mastermind. Like, she manipulated well, when you're, everyone. Like, maybe mentally ill, like, other parts of your brain start working. Like, you yeah, believe like your own Yeah, like, she was able to truly and... talk everyone into everything. She went to all different doctors. Doctors did surgery on this kid without it being necessary. Like, wild stuff. This kid was failed so many times by so many people. And she ended up getting online somehow, meeting a boyfriend. And they talked and they came up with a plan. And she said she felt like it was her or her. And they Oh, so offed. basically she confided in this boy. And so she finally figured it out as she got older that yes. her mom was fucking her over. hmm Okay, that's what I was wondering. Like, if, did she believe it all the way up to the end? And then, no, she knew. And, oh, man. I mean, okay, so she's old enough. Why didn't she just go tell like somebody? She was like, allowed a out of the house. She tried to escape once, and then when she, they got her, she chained her to the bed. She was not allowed to leave the house. She chained wasn't her to the bed. If she had a phone or computer, why couldn't she like record her being I chained to the bed? I think she stole the phone. I mean, I think she stole the computer. And I got to get to this part. I'm not sure exactly. But I think that she wasn't supposed to be online. It wasn't like she had a free for all. She like, that was her only way to escape to the internet. Okay. And then the first person she started talking to was like some boy or something. I guess. I don't know that part exactly. I just know that she met this guy online and she told him and they came up with this plan. And the plan was to off the mom. And they did it. And then he went to jail. Isn't there a better way other than stabbing her, right? Isn't that how it went down? Stab or gun? I'm not sure. Oh, I thought he like stabbed her like five million times. It was definitely. Like, I don't know. Though. I haven't read the whole story and stuff. Like, I yeah, don't know. it was whatever he did. It was very um, like brutal, right? Yeah, brutal. And um, so he went to jail for life. She went to jail for ten years because obviously she claimed like you know it was abuse and it was like self defense almost, right? Oh, interesting. So I was like, so she goes. To, she plan. gets ten years. She ended up getting off in eight. Okay. For parole. So there's controversy over so whether she had. out now. But is there, con- like, our, since I don't know what's going on in the social media world about how people have their opinions about her, are there people saying she should have gone for life? Are there people I saying they feel bad for her? I think most people are pro-Gypsy Rose. Oh, like they're siding with her. Like, like they're like, she, she should have never went to jail. Oh. Yeah. I think a lot of people are very for her. And, like, she, oh, man. Okay, I will I say know. she does show emotion. Yeah. Like, she said, she was like, I started to miss my mom. Like. I realized the magnitude of what I did, but like I was in a desperate time and I don't know. It's really hard. Like I definitely, yeah, like it was wrong, but I don't think we can ever put ourselves in that position. Yeah. Of what of we would course do. Not, you of know, it's not and like, pe- and like as human beings, like our survival instincts kicked in and yeah. maybe she thought if I stay like this, I'm going to die. That's what she said. She said she felt like it was either going to be her or her mom. Like that well, was and you're choice. already Done. You're going crazy. Yeah. I bet she was going crazy. Oh yes, she has so so much she probably trauma in her even life. if like even if she 
was going through all that hurt. She was not in her right mind mm -hmm. when she decided to plan this death. However, but the right boyfriend mind, but like, who had no involvement in her. Right. Well, like, I'm not talking about him. I'm up. talking about her. Like, even if you're not in your right mind, that's like people that sexually abuse other like kids, like young kids. And they say, well, I was sexually abused. Like, I wasn't in my right mind. Are that okay? It's not just, it's not okay, though, regardless. Right. I don't right. know. Like. I know. Or is it Which okay? Is or why... is it okay to get rid of someone that's slowly killing someone? I don't well, know. Well, I guess here, right? What would you think about if someone broke into someone's house mm -hmm. and was trying to like hurt them and then they killed that person? Right. Like out of self defense. Should they go to jail? Right. Well, self that's that was more of like a spontaneous right away happening and you did what you could. This kind of planned out thing and maybe the brutality in which yeah. it happened. I mean, I'm not sure. That's a lot more thought. Whereas someone just barges into right, your house right. and you grab the first Survival thing for self-defense and you kill because someone was like, I don't know. I know. Fucking I don't know. I know. It's tricky. I think that like, I think personally, she shouldn't have gotten life. You want to hear what the saddest part was? She said that she was so, the first day she was in jail was the happiest day of her life because she felt so much freedom. Yeah. I get jail that. was more freedom than her entire life outside that, of yeah. jail. That's insane. She was like, I was allowed to see sunshine and go outside and talk to people. She's like, it was the best day ever. And people know her as the one that killed her mom, right? That's yeah. That's kind of bizarre. I know. Do you think that she had an okay experience in jail? She sounds like she did. Interesting. You, the, and she's married now. The first she thing got I think about. in jail. And she's married already. Someone someone wants to rescue her. There's guys like that yeah. out there like that. I know. There's a whole too. like show called Prison Wives. It's so weird. Oh, people totally like. It's like a fetish. Totally. Well, and think about like though, uh, you really do get to connect with oh someone. Oh my God, Julie, you're going to be like, I understand it. I do. Because listen, you I get can't. to like whatever it is. I guess people don't even write anymore. They can email. Or in jail, are you allowed to have that sort of access? I don't know. You can write letters and letters and really get to know someone over like deep You should go thoughts. do that. Go find yourself a prison. I'm hobby. not saying that, but I can see how people think they're in love over daily connections with like words. It's like what they did back in the day before. Yeah, it's like, like when I was in chat rooms on AOL. Okay, well, before that, like people <laughs> back in the day would like write letters to their significant others and be all in love and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. you know, so it's like that almost like old romance or something because no one knows that anymore. Everyone's like on Tinder or whatever. Wait, I don't even know if that's you know true. It's tender like an old app now. I don't know. I'm not on the dating app. <laughs> that's what I mean. Like, I don't know. But like now it's just like, let's like hook up or something. And well, like, that actually I'm not in a committed relationship. to a really interesting topic, though. Have you been hearing about all these people finding out about like lost family members or people finding out that their dads aren't their dads because of now the Ancestry.com and the DNA no. tests? My dad loves that shit. My loves family alone has things. two circumstances of this. What? Yes. And it is what do you so mean? common. Okay. So there was like big lies about the affair? Yes. Because back in the day, people had affairs all the time and you never found out about it because the wife was usually at home and the husband was out at work and you didn't know what he was doing and there was no phones and there was no internet. But why, what, like, why have an affair? Why don't you just look at that person and be like. Back in the day, you didn't get divorced. That wasn't Ugh. common. Things are so weird in our society. Like, I that's know. not an option. Like, now I think that's much more common. Uh, obviously, higher... but even then. like I bet you if you look now, there's a higher divorce rate, but a lower cheating rate maybe i don't know but i think back right. then for sure you had a very low divorce rate people didn't get divorced you stayed married i know you well, stayed married no matter what is. through abuse through alcoholism through cheating like why? you stayed married why did we do it that was, i think it was just the standards back then and i think that women couldn't work so what I were know. you going to do with your babies and yourself true you know what i mean yeah you were stuck there's no only fan there was no only fans <laughs> there was no sugar daddies so anyway all right two circumstances one, um, we found a cousin of ours and my, my cousin is really, really good with like, she loves ancestry stuff. She okay. loves tracing back to history. She's like just super nerdy with it all. It's kind of cool. She's really smart with it. So she was doing it for fun with our whole family and trying to make a whole tree and going down and down and down the line. And all of a sudden she realized that one of her cousins, I want to say it was, or her brother, maybe it's her brother. I can't remember. Whatever. It doesn't matter. There was a point where it didn't make sense. Like there was like another family that was coming up into the stem. And she was like, I don't understand where this is coming from. Well, she ended up discovering that he had a baby that no one knew about. And he actually did know about it. 
but he had some mental health issues. He was schizophrenic and stuff. He oh. ended up like offing himself. Okay. Um, but he used to always talk about this girl with blue eyes and like all like my whole family remembers it and it was his daughter and the the mom i guess like took her and left anyway she lives in california and she doesn't really have much family and we met her she actually flew out here when we found her and we met her and like she's in a group chat with us now like we talk to her all the time and she's like so excited that she found family and so who's the one that had the affair okay so i want like i have another family member who um found out that her dad wasn't her dad and it was through her daughter did a DNA test one of those things and she was like this doesn't make sense I don't have Douglas which is my maiden name I don't have that side I only have my dad's side like there's no Douglas side which is weird so she ends up like not thinking about anything of it she just like whatever she logs off she doesn't log back on for a while and all of a sudden she said she got this feeling like she should log on she logs on. She has all these new family member matches. Because, like, whenever someone else takes it, then it'll match. You. Yeah. It's not just going to match without that. Well, she finds out that it's because her mom's dad, her grandfather, is not the biological dad. Well, my those two people, they died already. So there's no one to ask. Oh, dang. No one I knows know anything about this. And what's crazy about it is her siblings were all adults and teenagers when she was born. She was, like, a later in life one. And they were like, we remember they separated for like a brief time because there was like a lot of bars and drinking and stuff. But like, they don't think that they even knew. Like my, one of them obviously probably knew, but like the dad probably did not know. Like that was his favorite kid. Or he knew and he just didn't Mm want to admit it. They're pretty convinced he did not know. I'm sorry. You can't be that like, you, I feel like when you look at your kids, you can see None of us suspected it ever. Now that we look at her with the new family she found, we're like, oh, yeah, we see that resemblance. Yeah. But, like, no one thought anything of it. Gosh, that's so weird. No one thought anything of it. Well, whatever. I guess the more the merry. But, well, what would you think, though? Like, so imagine finding out right now at okay. this point in your age that your dad was not your dad. Would you feel, like, lied to and, like, betrayed? Or would you feel, like, okay about it? So on my side of the family, I do have a cousin where um, their parents decided not to tell them that they were both adopted till they're like 18 or something. And I always thought that was interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I wouldn't feel lied to. I'd be like, well, my dad, it's my dad. Like he raised me and stuff. But I would just be interested to see like where I came from, what I yeah. look like. It'd be more, I'm sure every person feels this way. It's like belonging to like wanting to know like, oh, do I look like them or something yeah. like that? I don't know. So that happened with wanting, my grandma too. Just wanting to find the other family members. Yeah. Think my you want mom to find your tribe? also found out that her – so my grandma mm-hmm. was in foster care her whole life. Her mom died of a brain oh, aneurysm when sad. she was two, and her dad didn't want anything to do with the kids and left. Damn. Yeah. Fuck him. And, it, yeah, she ended up opening her doors to him when she was an adult with, like, kids, and they had one dinner together, and she was just like, get out. Like, never – they never talked again. Anyway. So the siblings all got separated. Some of them were older. Some of them weren't. So she was on her own in foster care her whole life until she met my grandpa at 17, got married, and left. And then got pregnant at 18 and had my mom. Um, So she had, like, a crazy life. But she knew who her dad and her mom were. And she always, like, thought this. She thought that that was her last name, you know, yeah. whatever. Well, when my mom did a DNA test, we found out that my mom came up, like, 25 percent jewish i mean i was like what so where did that come from like they both were very italian that was it yeah. whatever well then we start finding Wait, you're italian yes i'm joking oh i was like yeah um i'm not as much as you probably think i am though but um, i just so i hear i see a glimmer of it a hint of it <laughs> so anyway they find out that it was the guy upstairs that's who her dad was it was a math teacher and he lived upstairs. Oh my God, that's kind of hot. Yeah, math so teacher. she probably had like- <laughs> Love that. She has siblings out there probably. Oh, like, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think I wouldn't be upset. I'd be excited to find out like yeah. who the rest of my family is. And like, I don't know, like, I feel like as we evolve and we get like more modernized, we like understand that that's a possibility, I suppose. Yeah. This it world is, is crazy and we're all just trying to survive and do our best. And I think the more that we can, um, I'm not, I'm not saying one's better than the other, but like, Getting to a point where, like, society doesn't, like, 
shun you for like maybe having problems in your marriage where like if if you guys need to take a break or you separate or you open or whatever it is to figure out so like people aren't like having these secret secrets well, and that's affairs all good. and stuff I think like it's that. the lying that feels betrayed. That's what I mean. Like, like I think if my mom and knew and never told me, I'd feel betrayed. I'd feel like you never told me. As True. an adult, like you never told me. Like you... I think if it, oddly enough, if I my mom lied to me, I'd be very insulted. Yeah. But I think if my dad didn't, I don't know why I'd give him a little bit more of a handicap. Like I can see how he wouldn't want that confrontation or disruption. Only because he's really old school. Like they, and yeah. his, they just don't do that. They don't talk about like those type of things. Where my mom and I talk about everything. So like if she felt like she, and I don't know, as moms were always just trying to do the best for our kids and maybe in their minds that keeping them safe yeah. from that knowledge is you know, helping them in some way. Well, I said she died thinking that this would went to her grave. Like, no yeah, one well, that's predicted. that's shitty. I think I would have written a letter or something. I know. No one Open predicted this when that there 18. would be DNA tests that you could take at home. Yeah. These people didn't know this. It that's is a little saying. weird it's to stirring. lie. Ancestry and DNA tests are stirring families up now. And it is a way that no one predicted. People were just doing their thing. Well, think about back know. in the day, like, I, I or I think about, like, kings and queens. Like, they definitely had their mistresses or whatever. Oh, yeah. And there was always like that child that didn't come from like uh-huh. the bloodline, but they were still like, I mean, it happens all the time. All the time. And you just kind of like roll with it. It right? won't happen anymore. No one will be able to keep that a secret anymore. Well, I feel like that is like we have cameras at our front door now. We have yeah. everyone can find anybody you're chatting yeah. through through your phone. And like, so there's like, I don't know, yeah, all the secrets and stuff. But like, I mean, even if you were able to get away with an affair and, but like if you had a baby, eventually it would come out. Like mm-hmm. it would come out. Like it, there's just too much knowledge so it's now. forcing us to be more honest imagine yeah. that is that a bad thing even I don't like know. my best friend she donated her eggs yeah um and she did it twice so she may have multiple biological children could you do out that? there would you I, do that did i or did i could you and would you donate eggs if i was not going to have kids absolutely i'll get into it what my thoughts are on that but she knew she didn't want to have kids so she donated all her eggs not all of them. She donated some eggs. And it's it's like a hard process. You have to be under 30. You have to be under a certain BMI. You have to ha- go through a psychological thing. They look at yeah. everything. And then the the parents-to-be check out your profile and they yeah. decide if they want you or yeah. not. But it pays like really good. I think uh, she got like $20,000 or something. You have a child somewhere out yeah. there, right? So she has like, she could have potentially multiple yeah. children out there. She doesn't know. And she was saying that there was this thing that you could fill out that, like, at 18, they can get your information if they want. And she did it. She, like, was okay with it. Yeah. I think that's how it went. <laughs> but regardless, it doesn't matter if she did it or not. With with the DNA test, they'd be able to find her like this. Right. So it really doesn't matter. At right. this point, what I'm saying is if you donate sperm or your eggs, those babies, this is going to be the first time that those babies can find you really easily now. Right. Um, well, I guess so that's interesting. Your, I kind of feel cool like that's it. your responsibility, though. If you're going to throw your your dna out there to create a human being they should be able to contact yeah. you and i don't she know said, why she said, that i hope wouldn't. they do like i would be happy if in 18 years someone knocked on my door and was like hey i mean i want to learn about my past. and talk to someone at the grocery store but you won't let something that's part of you be like hey i don't need a major relationship with you but i want to yeah. meet you yeah and know about like you. my family history and like every now and then we might meet like once a year yeah. and text and stuff like that like come on yeah she said she's cool with that I want to know from the people that keep it a secret and why. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I mean, the more the, the marrying. That's not going to happen anymore. So like yeah. you have to know that. But I mean, in past, it. I guess. Like, yeah, well, I would. I'm interested. Well, like, think about sperm our- donation. That is wild. You could make hundreds of thousands of babies. The eggs, they only take think so that many. They like that. I think they want to know that there's like a bunch of them out there. Because like, isn't that like biological? They just want to keep spreading their seed. I guess. And like guys, I feel like are so obsessed with their dicks. Like they are. They're just like, this is like everything. So powerful. I know. Like, no, you want to know right. what's powerful? A freaking baby's head coming out of my vagina. That's powerful. Yeah. You just getting a little sperm out of you. I know. I feel like I want to spread my legs and be like, this is life. This itself. is power. <laughs> Yours is and nothing. Like, thing. Light radiates from it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then we get our crown. Oh, Bing. my God. That's right, bitch. <laughs> so, yeah, as far as me donating, what I do it. Um, I'm too old now. Oh my but God, um, no, you're not. No, because... I am. I'm pretty sure the cutoff is 30. Oh. It's 30 or 35. So I'm close, whatever. So like my eggs are not fine. No, they don't want your shit. They're like, that is dried I am up. Amazing. Bitch. Okay. <laughs> Who wouldn't want like an artist like crazy? They don't want your eggs. Someone does. Oh, uh, someone might. Someone might want those little dusty eggs. Yeah. 
<laughs> they're dusty. They don't want mine little, either. They're dusty with a little paint crusted around it. I mean, they're good eggs. We've we created some cute kids. Yeah. I don't know who wouldn't want them. Yeah. But yeah, there is an age cutoff. Okay. Well, I think just because you become higher risk with certain yeah. things as you get older. Um, I don't like think I would worry about is that I would. I guess if there was a part me out there, I would definitely want to know and I'd want a relationship with them. I can't help it. Yeah. And you can't have that relationship with them until they're older. I, you know, I think I might be okay with that as long as I eventually got it or something. Yeah. I don't know. Which isn't a guarantee. They might not want to talk to you. Yeah. I don't know. It's tough. I, so being that I already have kids is the reason I wouldn't donate them and not that I would judge anyone for doing right, it. I think right. it's a beautiful thing. You just thing. don't want that part of your but life. But for me, like, knowing like my kids having their siblings is so special to me especially coming from an only child who yeah. didn't have siblings yeah. their sibling bond is so special to me that i feel like them having siblings out there that they don't have that relationship mm -hmm. with i almost feel like i don't know it would just it would affect sort, me in sort a way guilt yeah yeah and like i said i think it's a beautiful thing i know plenty of ivf babies who came from donation and i'm so glad that the parents were able to have that i think what my friend did was like beautiful oh me too and amazing and selfless but just you know being some like for me it's the same however like surrogate i could wrap my head around yeah did i tell you i was gonna do that yeah you time? did yeah and surrogate when, i could wrap my head around told me that they put like all these shots in me like every day i was like i know that sounds dumb but i'm like okay i don't know but ultimately my insurance didn't cover it so like our old dance studio instructor owner did that yeah. she was a surrogate for her best friend who couldn't yeah. have a baby which is really cool that i could see yeah i like how to easy my two yeah. pregnancies were easy and I'm like I guess I could do that and Trevor's like of course we would be that couple we would be like totally walking in a target and somebody like oh I didn't know you're expecting and he's gonna be like yeah it's not mine and that whole conversation with couple he's like of course you would do that to me like of oh course we would be that couple God. and I'm like cracking up like yeah. one day imagine Trevor he's like sitting there working so one day I came in and I was like I'm gonna have someone else's baby like this is my life with him I come home every day with like crazy shit like this I love but it. you do too I do too I'm like, John, just be quiet. There's a producer calling me. I'm going to try to get on a reality show. <laughs> BuzzFeed. <laughs> oh, my gosh. BuzzFeed's calling me. BuzzFeed, yeah. I um, Which is pretty cool, yeah, by the I way. Yeah, it is cool. We should Curious. tell them a little bit how you got, like, an email that people want to interview you because your TikTok and your yeah, personal. Yeah, a certain video. I'm curious what it's going to come out of. I mean, I had an interview done with, like, Daily News last year. Yeah, that's cool. On a similar concept. It was all about – they. It's all the ones that are about like how money much I spend kids. on my kids and stuff because people just don't talk about money. It's so taboo. I know people don't talk about money, but I feel like even in our friendship, we constantly talk about what we spend on our kids. Because I don't give a shit. Me either. I remember I, I was telling my sister-in-law when we were buying this house, like I'm like, so, and the only reason why I'm not using numbers is I honestly can't remember what exactly they were. But like at the time, like we couldn't afford it and they eventually came down. But I was like, I kept telling her, I was like, so we bought it for this and it was at this and da, da, da. And then- and she was just like smiling, nodding. Now my brother makes like more money than we do, and their house is bigger and nicer and more expensive. So it wasn't like I was doing it to make her feel right. better or anything. But Trevor like pulled me away later, and he's like, "You're not supposed to talk about how much your house costs." I'm like, "What's it to them? Their house is double what our cost. So like, does it matter?" And he's like, "I don't know. I just think it's a it's like something you don't do." And I think with another set of it's friends, I was school. telling them, I was like, "Who the fuck cares?" Like, I, I don't, don't judge it. you whether my house was more expensive or your house was more expensive. And like, here's the a thing. house is somewhere to, like, sleep and raise your kids and poop and stuff. Yes, like, and I don't even know why we go in debt over it. People have different priorities with yeah. money. I was explaining this to Lily the other day. She was saying something about someone at dance. And she's like, oh, they have so much money. And I oh, was like. interesting that she has that knowledge She knows now. already. And I said, you I don't, don't know that. Know. I said, they could have more money than us. They could have less money than us. Yeah. You have no idea. And I started kind of, like, getting into the topic with her of, like, People prioritize different things. Maybe they never go on a vacation. Yeah. And we go on a few a year. Exactly. Maybe they have credit card debt. I was going to say like loans. Sometimes people and... like beautiful houses, like yeah. two cars that are perfect or whatever. I'm like, you have no idea. You what if no there's clue. like fraud on one side yep. and like you have no, no idea taxes like they're not doing their taxes and eventually have to go to jail or like or their credit cards are blown out because they're trying to keep up with the joneses and yes. stuff now and it's also okay that they're just successful and they're doing and well and it could be that they could just be like, like that's, that's what i said they could lives. have a ton of money yeah. absolutely and that's and what it, i said you're always gonna have people that make and but more does that than mean you happiness you. no no are they happy maybe yeah oh well like who yeah. cares like but i don't i think that the taboo-ness around money i always tell my kids what things cost always we got a couch delivered and Violet was like, how much was that? And I was like, oh, that was $1,400. Oh, that is an interesting thing to bring up. I'm glad you brought that up because I don't think – and it's not because I'm keeping it from them. I just – sometimes I'll be like, 
do you like it or not? Because that costs a lot of money. Yeah. They never ask how much though. Yeah. Violet started asking that. And we do talk about money a lot. Like, and we talk about what dance costs and stuff. And I yeah, do tell them I don't. like, and I tell them in I a way that to, I'm like, maybe. I don't want you to worry about this. Or yeah. I don't want you to feel guilty about this. Yeah. I just want you to know that that's what priorities are. And we only have X amount of dollars. So like, if you decide, mm, you know what? I don't enjoy dance. Mm -hmm. Well, then should we be allotting that much money towards dance or should we allot that towards something else that we'd love to do? You know, if you love it, let's do it. Of telling them the exact amount is it like, like Freya, she's got a big mouth. I don't want her to turn and be like, well, my mom pays $1,400 a month for dance or whatever it is. I don't even know how much I do, but. Well, I just told the whole internet. <laughs> and uh, well, I got to sit there and add it all up. That's yeah. why. It's not because I'm not trying I to. I spend $20,000 but... a year on extracurriculars. Yeah, well, that's not bad. It's bad. That is bad. Most people that are like struggling like, like hear that and they're like, oh my God. That I've heard people be like, that's my salary. True. It's bad. I mean, what's bad and what's good, really? Like, it's just within your means. Right. How it's do not you decide bad. It's to... just a priority. Yeah. yeah it's a different priority. Right. And, and who's to say that, like, over all the years that you decided to, like, like, we don't go out to eat that much or order DoorDash and things like that. So, like, let's say you're one of those families that do or whatever. Like, you prioritized all your money that mm-hmm. ended up being $20,000 in, like, so many years or, like, what colleges or what schools. you. I mean, it just depends on what you want to put. It put does it, depend. I mean, distribute it you know, to. the same people who could look at that and, like, okay, here's another example. I posted a video. I told you about this where – I post a video of like different things that we've gotten the kids for Christmas mm-hmm. instead of traditional toys. So like the stair slide, we built them a rock wall yeah. in our playroom. And people we like went off swings. on that, right? And people went off and they were like, oh, you must be rich or oh, it must be nice, blah, 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 all this stuff. Well, you can buy a swing on Amazon that's on clearance sometimes for not that much. The swings cost $40. Yeah. Like whatever. But my point is, even if you think this stuff all costs a lot of money, would you bat an eye if I said that I bought my kid an Xbox for Christmas? Probably not. Yeah. Because that's normal. Because like societies normalize whatever. seeing that. Well, I feel but like because, all the people, whether you have money or not, they all have like phones. That's what I'm saying. But because it's something unique and different that you don't see in everyone's house, you yeah. automatically think, oh, I could never do that. That's money. Like, yeah. You know, so it's like, and it's just priorities. Like my kids don't have those kinds of things. Or, you know, I don't, we don't have a, how many families have an in-ground pool or have like an RV or have a motorcycle golf or a toy here. or a golf cart? Yeah, golf carts are huge here. We don't have toys. We don't have those things. I know. But we do spend a lot of money on vacations and yeah. we do spend money on extracurriculars. Yeah. Yeah. We also don't have a car that we don't, well, we only have one car. We went down to one car. Like I didn't know you did that recently. Yeah. We sold, I mean, we're going to get a new car, but yeah, we, we sold our other car. I drive. We we calculated. I drive two days a work a week to work. Yeah, four miles. Yeah, and can't you get like miles. your mom or your dad to help you here and there? Well, I drive eight miles a week on that car. The car was barely getting used, and I no. was like, John, we have money just sitting in the driveway right now. It was paid off. Like yeah. we didn't have a loan on it or anything. So but I was still. like, why would we not sell it? Like, yeah. Why are we using it? I kind of wish we went down to a one car thing too, but like there's Trevor's like you there's use no both way. A lot. Yeah, yeah, he's like there's we no don't. way. Like John works from home, but like in back in the day, didn't most families only have one car? Yeah, my parents did for a few years, yeah. but my mom didn't work. Okay, for those first. Yeah, few I guess years. when you're when you're both working, it's almost impossible. It's hard it? when you're both working, yeah. and we so we did it, and it was going to be like a temporary thing. We were going to see how it played out, and it's been fine. I mean, sometimes. I work overnights. That's the other thing. I work overnights when they're sleeping. So like half the time I can take the car. We are running into a few issues here and there where he has to drive me to work and pick me up because it'll be like the girls have a late dance day or something. Well, whatever. We decided what we're going to do is we just are going to buy a cheap ass car. There's no need for us to have a 20 something thousand dollar car. Yeah. When I'm driving eight miles a week. Is there a cheap ass car that exists in this world? Yeah. Like I'm going to get like a $3,000 clunker. Like I just need something to literally drive me to and from work. Yeah. I really want a Vespa, but John's. I think I want to do that when it's like 30 idea. degrees and raining. That's what he said. I'm over it. I thought it'd be really cute. <laughs> I'd have a little like retro helmet and I'd drive my Vespa to work. It'd be adorable. Yeah. I like it. And I'm so proud of you that you're like rollerblading. I am rollerblading. I know. I need a pair of rollerblades. Jess sent me a link to the yeah, one she got has. It. Well, but. She got the same ones I have. Oh, we're going to all be matching? Yes, girl. I have, check this out. This is how much my foot hasn't grown since sixth grade. I have my rollerblades from sixth grade in my garage that sometimes I'll still bust out. They're rocious if you're like really like skater people. And I don't know, maybe this company doesn't even exist. But when I was in sixth grade, which is like a billion years ago. That was the show. They're rocious majestic, I think I'm saying it right, rocious majestic 12s. And they have grind plates on it because I was a skater girl. 
I would jump she stairs. And I used to try to grind like the curbs and stuff. Gosh. So mine has no like break That's on it. Sexy. I know it's kind of cool. I kind of want to see you do that. I almost killed myself. I jumped. I off, told like, a John, of I'm gonna try that stuff. I that's my goal. I want to be like dancing. I want to be doing spins. I want to like yeah. jump. I want a little ramp. So I, I said can I have to join you guys, but I have to join with my until I buy yours. I have okay. to join with my sixth grade um, skater girl. Like I like it. It's blades. retro. It's vintage. It is vintage. Oh my god! I'm that old where things so are. So I got vintage. a cute little tennis skirt. And I want like tube socks. Cute. And I want to go rollerblading. Look, I'm like now I'm like, into the, it. Uh, I'm like, wait, throw a theme and some tube socks. I yeah. Know. I need the whole aesthetic. Like I want to like be like. I think it's gonna be so much fun. Like we're gonna take up like the whole road. Like all listen, three of us. it's a good workout. Like oh, I know. My thighs were on fire, and then after we did the hip hop class last night, on top of it, okay, did I you was, like, like die? Oh, I meant to think about this. I was like, I want to say this on the podcast when we were like when I was driving home. I'm like. That's all of us bitches ever want is like a good hour with our friends, yep. with amazing music, doing like booty poppy, sassy like little yeah. moves. That's what makes the world go round. I swear to God. Yeah, it does. It you definitely. You need to go like, to a dance class like that. Yes. Everyone's there having a party, and like every, and you're not like if you feel like you're one of those people that might be embarrassed. Trust you, me. You're focused on like yourself and getting the moves. And it's like, I didn't even look at you in just once, like no, at all. Like it's like and the I, for I might first, have looked like, at like your faces too. to see if you were smiling or something, but like that's it. Yeah, I wasn't like looking and being like, oh, you know, like I, I don't know. Like in the corner of my eye, I might see like a hip roll or something, but it's like what we do on the dance floor when we go out. Honestly, who cares anyway? Like it's if amazing. there's someone in there judging other people, like. Get the fuck out. It's like when you go to the beach. Like, I don't, I think everyone's always worried about what they look like, but I'm like, I'm not looking at anybody. We're just bodies. I on do the think, sand. though, like, that's coming from a very confident mindset. And I think people who oh, are insecure in themselves tend to judge other people more. They True. want to find things wrong with other people so they feel better about themselves. Oh, I know. And that brings me up to another point. It makes me like sad to think that I think, like, talking about this is, you know, New Year, I think. Us as humanity, as a human species, really needs to look about how we're reflecting on ourselves. Think about how many people in general, like, I wouldn't say hate themselves, but have hateful thoughts on themselves. Yeah. I'm not good enough. I'm too fat. I don't like my face. Mm -hmm. I don't like my job. I want more money. I want a better home. I want more, whatever it is. They're so like mean to themselves. Yeah. And think about, our world right now, we're such in a divided place. Always. If we started with ourselves and how we treat ourselves and how we think about ourselves, and then that then that comes out to like your immediate family and how you're treating them. Then it goes out to like your neighbors and how you're treating your people, your coworkers, and then it goes on and on and on. I think we'd be yeah. This is hurt like people, my hurt people. recipe for a better world. Like yeah. self. Did you see my reflection. video about my recipe for a better world? No, I didn't. I just yet. think we have to act like drunk girls all the time. Because we'd be nice. That's my theory. Oh, we'd be beat bitches yes. up too, though. Think about this. Oh, I never get angry when I'm drunk. I mean, I haven't, but other people have. Think about this, right? You're drunk. You're in the women's bathroom. Is that not the most positive fucking place ever? Yeah. Have you not had people like hype you up in there? Have you not talked to like, someone? like, oh my God, I love your shoes. Yes. And you're like, why yeah, can't well, we go I like your hair. Why like, is it mm. awkward to go up to someone sober though? And I'm going to make it a priority. That's I don't. What I start I've doing. never been awkward and s sober. I got march up to people all the time. I mean, yeah, I don't do it I'm the not same shy, way that though. I would when I'm drunk. Like I True. definitely am not like, wow, you look hot today. Like I would never say it to someone, but drunk I would. So I'm just going to start saying it because you know what? It's going to make them feel better. It's going to make me feel better. And it's going to be a beautiful okay. thing. Okay. What, what's like and the like, label why for don't this we drunk, like, com, drunk, um, what do you say? When drunk like, girl bathroom talk. I don't know. No, no. Like what's it when you co compliment, drunk compliments? Drunk yes, compliment they're the team? best compliments. I have literally had girls come up to me and tell me their whole life story drunk and I never even met them. And I, we'd be like <laughs> crying together at the end. And I'd be like, you're fine. This is great. You're fabulous. You're yeah, you're amazing. You're going to do great things. <laughs> oh my God. It's true. I, I, you know, follow these like interesting people, like spiritual people that like channel and shit. And one of the girls questions to her own channeling mind was, how come I like myself better when I drink? Like when I have a couple glasses of wine, I feel yes, like cooler. But not do. cooler. It's not about being – you just feel like you're able to loosen up a little bit. Yes. And the people, the whatever, Laurel, whatever they chant, she was channeling was like because who you are when you're drunk is actually who you're supposed more to be naturally. More of your true self. More of your true self that along with your programming and society and the stresses of life have like dumbed down that part of your soul, your essence. And so – when you're able to have, not that I'm condoning drinking, because you should be able to do this on your own is what I'm trying to say. It let, allows you to 
be like who you would be without those fears or insecurities or worries and stuff. Yeah. So we need to figure out how to be drunk girls sober. We just have to get like, it starts with that self-reflection too. It starts with like cheering Even yourself like, on. I want to be able to call you at 2 a.m. and be like, bitch, I love you. <laughs> And that'd be normal. Dana, if you call me at 2 a.m., I'm going to be like, my sound machine's going to go off. And I'll be like, oh, what happened? And I'll be like rolling over and over <laughs> five dogs. I love you so much. And then I'll be like, I hate you for waking me up, but I love you too, bitch. Do you know last night I was in bed with five, four dogs and a cat? I know sent us a picture that looked miserable. A cat and then Mika, Annie, Duncan, Lando. Five animals in our bed. That's I loved it. And we were all snuggled. It was amazing. No. It was so warm. No. Everywhere I went, there was Ugh, like a I hate little it. creature. I hate that. Now I will have to go wash my sheets today because like that's gross. But that. what? Yeah. More love. You're definitely not a hippie. I don't want to sleep. Okay. You know how you like your sound machine and your special darkness and your bath before? Yeah. I don't have any of those routines, but I do need a dark room and I need space. That's how I sleep. Why do you need space? You love your kids climbing all over you all the time. I don't love. No, not when I'm sleeping. When I'm sleeping, I need to like sleep. Maybe because you're such an amazing mom and you let them crawl all over you all day. And I don't mind them By the time you go me. to bed, you need to. Okay, well, I can't sleep with my children. I don't That's mind the them weird sleeping thing. with me. They the roll dog around sleeps and with us, me. but everyone needs to be in their section. I can't have you on me. One time you were at one of the conventions and you guys had to split a king bed with like five of you. How do you do that? Miserable. Then you're not sleeping in sections. No, we can't on a king bed because there's just too many of us. Yeah. But like if I'm in my bed, Duke knows he has to stay to the left corner. Oh, I know. Corner. Lando has his corner okay. too. He bottom right. Where if my he starts feet touching are. my foot, he's out of the room. Yeah. And then John has to stay in his area. And if one of the kids comes in, they have to stay near them and they can't be, they could snuggle me when we're going to sleep. But once we're like, you like, sleep, let go sleep, and you roll I need over. them to be away. I don't want to be touching. I don't want to be cuddling. I don't want to be. I don't want dogs on me. I don't want the warmth. I like the window open, the fan on. I want it to be cool. I want to be in my oh, blanket. I want to be sweating under my blanket. I need to be cozied oh. up, man. I need to be, like, I have to have, like, the blankets over my shoulder. Same. I definitely don't mind. I mean, I you're like the, I think I'm the only person, and maybe there's other people out there. Like, every time I talk to one of my friends, they're always like, ugh, I don't want anybody to touch me or on me. Like, I, like, wrap myself around Trevor. I know. Or he's rapping and spooning me. And, like, I'm not saying we always fall asleep like that. Like, most of the time, like, one of us will, like, kind of turn and, like, shift. But in the middle of the night, if I'm like, not touching him well, I'll, like, scoot closer. Like, my so, leg or my foot has to be, like, so rubbing his. Oh, I rub my feet. Like, I have to be, like, I do this. Lily does that. It drives me nuts. So even right now, I'm, like, loving him. That, like, like soothes oh. you? Yeah. It's a soother. Yeah, that, that's mm-hmm. what it is. Mm-mm. I need to be pressed. No. I need compression. And I'm a toucher. Like, I I like being, yeah. Yeah, that sounded creepy. I'm a toucher. <laughs> I know. Like, let me help you. <laughs> no, I like, I like cuddling. I like touching. I like affection. I just only in the waking hours. Yeah, because at night it's like suffocating. Yeah. And I'm kind of the opposite. During the day, I'm so hyper and overstimulated that if you're like, Trying like even Trevor was like trying to like hug me while I was doing the dishes. I'm like, no, no, I'm moving like quickly. You guys are really affectionate. Yeah. Well, in that moment, I'm like, I'm moving quickly, and he's like trying to hug me. I'm like, I don't have time for like one, two, three. What? Like a hug, you know. But yeah. when that's not happening, you're right. I will crawl on his lap. We definitely. They say we need eight hugs a day for happiness. I know. I was trying to do that with my kids. You know, oddly enough, I only got like because. This is not because I'm, like, not loving on them because every night we, I, like, wrap myself yeah, around yeah, the kids yeah. and we definitely, like, snuggle when I tuck them in yeah, stuff. Is, and in the morning we get – every morning I go, where's my morning hug? And they come yeah. down and they want it, you know, and then – My kids are always on top of me, so. Yeah, but I don't I like, think I got like my – eight. Each. I don't think we got to eight – after, like, the morning and then there was school and dance, I don't think we got, like, eight hugs in per kid. Hmm. It's a lot. It's a lot of hugging. Maybe snuggling is counts but as maybe, a Maybe, like, that's sad. If you're living alone, who do you hug? You need a dog. Yeah, I if would, you're living alone, I would hug like strangers. Just strangers, you just yeah. go up to them. Oh my God. I always tell Trevor, I'm like, I don't care who it is, I just need someone in my bed with me. Yeah. Ah, well, okay. Sounds great. He's like, I'm like, bring on a homeless man. I just need like the warmth of someone. But I will say, in these last couple of years, I've gotten real picky, like you. And the nights like Trevor's gone upstairs to sleep with Freya or whatever, I'm like, kinda fuck nice. yeah. I like barricade nice. myself with pillows that I'm like. All right, I figured out that I don't necessarily need the warmth of a body. I just need a fucking billing covers and pillows. Uh-huh. Have you ever heard of the couples that have, like, separate bedrooms? 
or separate comforters. So I used to judge that. I'm like, what the fuck? But now I'm like, I totally get it. Someone's snoring. You're like, you're out. You're fucking yeah. out. Yeah. Get out of here. You're I don't disrupting think it my would, sleep. Listen, as long as you're still intimate together, yeah. I don't think it would affect anything. It doesn't who cares define where you, go to you sleep? when you sleep. Yeah. Who cares where you sleep? Who cares where you sleep? But I don't know. Trevor and I definitely enjoy coming to bed together, snuggling together, yeah. sleeping together, and waking up together. That's definitely because we're busy. All that's the time. Like time and like, like that, that's together. like our dime. Yeah, that our dime. Our time. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I'm waiting. But for I that get time. it. I also get it. Like I definitely think if like someone's a, like if Trevor was a snorer, I probably would snore. That's a word, right? Mm-hmm. A snorer. Mm-hmm. Someone that snores, I don't think I could handle that. Yeah. Like he would have to go somewhere else. Sorry, yeah. boo. No, I, I need I get my it. beauty sleep. I get it. Mm. Um, so really quick back to money. I wanted to oh, talk yeah, about yeah. Money, this, money, 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 money. And how people don't like talking about money. So listen to this shit. This world has so much opportunity in it right now. I know I told you that. I was yeah, like, you I don't love need that. no shit job. Like, You're there's so opportunity here. Dana for motivational <laughs> speaking. Wait, you should be a life coach. Go oh on. Oh, my God. We are in a time where you can make money online or, like, doing side hustles. Like, I just feel like there is, while, like, the economy sucks, there is so much opportunity out there to do things uniquely, right? Okay. So, anyway, I was, I'm scrolling through TikTok. Have you heard of TikTok Shop? Do you know about yeah, it Yeah, but at when all? we got that video on that guy, I'm like, now I'm with that guy. It's annoying, right? What video with what guy? The one that Trevor sent about, like, where TikTok is going. Oh, on. some people are annoyed by it. Sure. I mean, people are always going to be annoyed by stuff. I'm not on TikTok I mean, enough to know. It's annoying because you get ads for TikTok shop, whatever. What TikTok shop is, is it's basically an Amazon. That's what they're trying to be. Okay. And but is people it Amazon can make, products? What is it? It's all, yeah, all different products. Kind of like Instagram, like how they have this different. This was from TikTok shop, like, uh, um... The teeth whitening kit I got, like that's from a TikTok shop. Okay. It could be anything. Dressers, I mean, literally anything is on TikTok shop. It's like an Amazon. But people will post videos of them using whatever mm. product. And if you click their link, they get a commission off of it. I feel like it's sort of annoying. I feel like now every time I scroll, we talked about this on our last podcast. It's right. like someone being like, oh my God, I'm obsessed. I yeah. need this. Well, I just think you have to find the right people. There are people I follow that give very honest reviews and I like it. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, yeah. I'll follow you. Like, I'll give you the commission. Great. Like, I love to like help other people That's make money. True. If I'm gonna I buy it anyway, why not? You that know? perspective. Yeah. But I agree, Aww. TikTok is pushing it out too much. Like if they could just like push out normal stuff and just that's in bit. it, that's fine. Yeah. So anyway, I've done a couple of them myself because I'm like, whatever. Well, listen, true. let me tell you. There have been multiple people that I have like spoken to on TikTok that I'm like mutual friends with that have like one girl made eighty eight thousand dollars in one month from commissions from TikTok shop. That's life-changing money. About reviewing a product that someone's trying to sell. So it was the Beach Waver, which is like this curling iron. Okay. These and are influencers though, right? Like, No. Like I she has it, like a few thousand more than me. Yeah, well, I, I'm not an influencer. I think I have like 10 people following me or something. So if I went on there, no one well, would Well, you need at least 5,000 to do it. Oh, okay. So you need I at least 5,000 to do it. That. But anyway, she so she did a review on the TikTok shop. The video just happened to go viral. And people started buying from her link and she made $88,000 in one month. One month time. Wow. From one product. What do you think is something that, like, you'd be passionate about talking about and wanting to sell on TikTok shop? I don't know. I mean, at that point, I, like, that's crazy. My stuff would probably be, like, supplements. So, like, I See, lo- I use supplements. See, I'm always nervous. Like, so I get oh, a lot of true, people that like a send nurse, me. nurse and, like, you don't want to well, be, like. not just that. I, that, yes. I don't like, I don't like pushing but, like, any whey sort protein. of. Like, I would love to, like, know the best whey protein or if there's, yeah. like, a vegan one out there because sometimes I cycle things or, like, that kind of stuff is yeah. what I meant. Or, like, I don't know. Like, I use almond, not almond oil. What's, um. I just bought Maybe castor it is oil. almond oil. I, I have castor oil, too, for my eyelashes and stuff. So, things like that. Yeah. Like, and that's what I'm saying. And who cares if someone shows me it and they like the result and they're showing me it? Like, I'll buy it off their link. Cool. Like, get Thai some money. Crystal get your bag. Is the deodorant I've been using for like 20 years? It's like you just wet it and you put it underneath. It's supposed to yeah. like pH balance I'd out. I smell like shit. That's what all my friends say. And I'm like, you. J- it's almost like I'll try quitting it. I drinking smell or smoking. Right now. It sucks at first or coffee, but mm. then oh, I had only had it on so. Sometimes I just don't wear it and I'm like, suffer the consequences. But I don't think I have yeah. like a strong VO. I think we talked about this before. Yeah. Anyway, you just have to get through a couple weeks and then your body acclimates. Well, you need to make money off of that. I don't want to hear about it unless I have a link Thai to it. Thai crystal. Yes. <laughs> Whatever. Are you out there? Yeah. So it's just interesting. So I'm trying to like dabble in it a little bit. Like I don't want my whole page to be that. For yeah, but sure. of course. But, but I I'm like, you're I'm going to throw a couple honest, things in there. Interesting person. Yeah. And I would definitely love your feedback. I'm going to throw a couple things in there. And I only, I get, 
probably 20 emails a day. Let me throw a couple things in there. So like, how do you know what you're going to do? And then how does it go on and stuff? So I get like a bunch of emails every day. And like people will be like, hey, we want you to promote this. Okay. And most of them I don't even answer because I'm like, that's stupid. I would never use that. Dumb. Oh my God. Can we like start opening them up and talking about them? Because how funny would that be? Wasn't one of them the cum rag? Yeah. I got a cum rag one. That's so gross. Um, it's not either. Every one of us use, unless you shoot blanks, which is that nice. I don't want a dedicated one. I don't. To get 50 I of them. I can't wash it and prepare it. Get 50 of them. Oh because God. like, listen, you know how you use like That's that one smaller washcloth for, for your face that's a little thinner and lighter? Like no, sometimes. I use whatever's around. I mean, I do too. But there are some that like, I don't know. Hair towels. You know what I'm talking about? Like I, yeah, the thinner, I, smaller towels I try to use for my hair because it like feels see, better. I cut my hair? No, Look how it looks it good. It doesn't. I mean, it's, it was like down to here. Well, it looks God, good. I don't even need this. I know, damn. But I just, I kept looking at it thinking it was healthy, but maybe that's why. Anyway, I think it's not a bad idea. I just think, like you said, no one's really going to dedicate. You just get up and you grab something, whether yeah, it's the it's cum stupid. towel or the cum I rag. I went right past that or one. Or the one that's on the floor because I just took a shower or a bath. Yes. I went right past that. That was stupid. I went past a few of them. But there are a few that like send me like that teeth whitening one. I was like, oh, I've been wanting to try something yeah. anyway. So I'm like, sure, I'll take it. So now I'm going to review that and I'll put it up. And if it, people click my link, I'll get money. Or like, did you see that lip stain I did? Mm-mm, I'm not I did like a lip stain. Media. I know we're trying to grow on social media and you're not on social media. This is a huge problem. I like barely. Have, I have like 50 text messages I haven't even gotten back to. Like, I need I'm you to ba- spend a little more time. I know. Fuck. Okay. I'm trying. Can I do the lip stain with you? Yes. Then? And you peel it. So you, you put it on and it, it dries for 10 minutes. Did it and then work? you peel it off and it just dyes your lips. Yeah, it worked. It was actually great. Wow. Yeah. So I put that up as a link. So like okay. once in a while, I'm trying to like get into it. Okay. I have to do a vacuum review when I get home. Well, isn't that good for like John? He'll probably like want I know. Help. He actually was like, it's not a bad vacuum. But anyway, my point being, people are making crazy money on the internet right now. It's definitely possible. It's not easy. I'm not saying everyone. That's the, not, obviously not the rule. Yeah. It's the exception. Like you have to already be good at what you're doing. Yes. And then, all, then be good at what you're doing. And a little bit that. is luck because you can try to play with the algorithm as much as you want and it's never going to be perfect. But there are definitely people with not crazy amount of followers making decent money between TikTok shop, Amazon influencing, you know, the beta program where you get paid to make videos, like their opportunity is there. It's just an interesting thing. Like the fact is like we've increased our streams of income this year, like quite a bit. I mean, that oh, last cool. video I made, I On made what? the the skit I did of like announcing my first baby versus my third. Yeah, okay. So I'm not monetized on Instagram yet. So I got paid on TikTok so far and Facebook. That video alone has made me almost $500. Whoa. Yeah, like there is opportunity. I'm going on a cruise with Dana. <laughs> I mean, it's not often. That doesn't happen. I'm not at that point Can where Royal I make that Caribbean, regularly. Can Royal Caribbean like give us a cruise or whatever right? since we just talked about them? And I talked about you really well. So <laughs> we we give you one thumbs up. Oh, shit. Okay, fine. Here's <laughs> two, two, two thumbs up. up. We'll show us that you deserve two thumbs up. Yeah, exactly. Um. Yeah, so there's opportunity there. But I definitely think there's cons to it all, too. I mean... I think I was just talking to John about this. Yeah, what are the cons? Well, I just think being on social media, I mean, you're opening up yourself, right, for like negativity. But okay. also, like, people are just strange. I've noticed a few psychological things, I feel like. So, like, when I have a video that goes viral, so like, I'm going to say anything over like 200,000 views. Okay. I notice that when people come. Oh my comment, God, when we have like 50, I'm like, I know. Yay, people are watching. <laughs> I notice when people comment, they're commenting about me and not to me. As if I'm not going to see it. Okay, but whatever. But when I have they a video that you. gets less views, they comment to me. Like, okay. they'll be like, oh, like, why, yeah. why did you do this? Or the, whatever. And then the other thing is, I feel like people think everything I post is true. Like, a lot of my skits and stuff, like, they're just based off of things. Yeah. Or, like, maybe they were, like, true. Or maybe there's a story I heard from someone else. Like, it's what do you not mean? always why about is me. It, why does it matter if they think it's true or not? It's just like, interesting to me. It's just, okay. like, a psychological thing to me. I don't care what people think. It's just, like interesting or like when someone's like a mega influencer people think that they know them like it's called a parasocial relationship like there's actually a name for it like they think they know them they think that they deserve to know their information what are you doing today why didn't you tell you know how many times i've seen like a part one video and people are like genuinely mad that that person didn't post their part two because they're like so invested in these people's lives for this yeah it's just interesting it's just all like Social oh, media is just very as soon as, like, interesting. Someone needs more for me. I'm like, okay, I, I, I can't like. So I can't imagine being like. 
Yeah, Julie, they want. wanted you to answer them and follow them, and you already like, couldn't handle that. I know. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying. So There's only funny. so many it's hours hard. in the day. It's really hard. And I think it comes back to, like, priorities. Not that I don't want this to be a priority. I'm very excited. It's, like, my new yeah. goal this year and stuff. But, like, yeah. It's, it's tough. It's tough figuring out what it is you I want always and joke. I'm like, I know there. it sounds so stupid. Like, I'll say to John, like, I'm, like, so overwhelmed. I'm like, I know it sounds so stupid because, like, what am I overwhelmed with creating content? And, like, all this stuff, like, it sounds dumb. But, like, yeah, like, you know, it's coming up with ideas, talking, editing it, then thinking about ideas for the podcast, then also trying to do the wedding content creator, and then being a, – having a regular job, and then also having my kids, and then trying to, like, study TikTok a little bit and Instagram a little bit to, like, you don't learn just the algorithm. Have kids, Dana – you guys don't know, but, like, Dana, like, doesn't just have kids. She, like, creates, like, this amazing, like, world for them all the time. For every <laughs> holiday, every birthday, every – occasion there is like she it's definitely it's a lot to me in my head yeah yeah Aquarius season is coming up oh my god! I am such an Aquarius I love it well we're gonna be going out for your birthday I know I'm excited we'll... oh wait I did want to before we um sign off like how many people I, I'm sort of like I can't even believe that like so many people have commented on the kitty litter thing so okay we, yeah. We did a video. <laughs> I want to hear about this toxic plasma. Yeah. We did a video where I. <laughs> like, am I dying? We were going to do a podcast that day and I told Julie she couldn't clean her. I like knocked on the door and I told Julie, I was like, you cannot clean your house. Don't touch anything. Can we talk about how people were so upset that I was uh, made up. People okay? were, like, like I don't obviously like wake up like this. I'm but like, also, who we're cares? Doing You're hot. Go for it. Well, I wouldn't say that. I don't think that I'm hot, but I'm, yes, I have you to. Do. I do. No, I do not. I have to wake up and make myself look. <laughs> You have to make sort of attract. Yeah, I have to like, I even the energy and stuff. Like after I put things yeah. on, like Takes I'm time. like, okay, like I have to get into this mindset. So we had, I had put myself together for the podcast. Like yes. I'm sitting here, and so people were upset that when I opened up the door that I had makeup on. Not upset, but they're like, I would never. Like you're supposed, to, I'm supposed to believe that she looks like that all the right. time. No bitches, I don't look like that. Like right. this takes a while. It was a good day. Yeah, like I'd put myself together for the podcast. So okay, so there's that. I knock on your I tell you you can't clean anything, and I ask you to show me various parts of your house yeah. that I, I knew normally. And you by the way, my house clean. was actually relatively clean. It was I clean. cleaned for something like weren't you guys there? We or like I had someone come over or something. Whatever, yeah. It never looks that good. It was clean, regardless. But I asked you to see like your closet and yeah, it wasn't junk perfect drawers and all this stuff. So we go into your closet. So everyone's on board. Like they're like yes to the laundry pile, yes to this, and then we go to your closet and Julie keeps kitty her cat litter box in the closet right under her husband's clothes, and people lost their shit. They like did. they were like that is disgusting. Like you're nasty. You need to put it somewhere. You need else. to put it somewhere else. I've looked. And they're like, you need to put it in the bathroom. I'm You're like, gonna have tax, so, so I need to have. I'm gonna have like an open kitty litter of shit like next to my sink when I brush my teeth. I'm sorry, I want it like tucked away. Yeah, I want it tucked away. There were a few comments that were like, maybe you just get like a closed one. And I was like, I could see that. So before I did, okay. it was too small for my cat. Now he's pretty big, and so okay. I got the next size up, and it didn't have like a top to it. And I like this system. It's like, okay, can I get a plug on this system? I even forgot what it's called. But we it's need like, to try some cat litter boxes yeah, for so, you. Okay, I like it. So it's like pellets, and then it's got a pee pad where I change out because I hate the smell. I don't like regular kitty litter. It gets everywhere. I don't like the smell of it. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to find a system that didn't like smell that bad. And so this system now, I forget what it's called. I'm sorry. If you guys want to find out, I'll try to fucking find out what it is. It's like on my Amazon orders. But um, it's pellets. And then there is an underneath part where it's a pee pad. So you just pull out the tray and then you can throw the pee pad out. So this collects all that like kind of ammonia smell and pee stuff. So it's not. Yeah. And I change my litter box every day, you guys. So yes, there's the possibility that after my cat shits, it'll sit there for a second and Trevor oh, will go get something. It made people mad. Oh, yeah. But I scoop it out the next day or even that night or and whatever. And then a so. few people talked about your stripper pole. So she has a stripper oh, yeah. pole, like literally dead center. It's framed in her door. Like you open yeah. her front door and there's a stripper, stripper pole, pole in between the living room and the kitchen. Now the kids call it a fun pole and then I call it a fitness pole. It is a fitness pole. You're not stripping. I'm on not it. stripping. Yeah. God, I wish I was. Maybe I can but make some money. Someone wrote like that is so uncomfortable. It's like putting a toilet in your living room. Yeah. My <laughs> God, I can't. I'm like, what's wrong with you that you're that uncomfortable with a pole? Okay, but you got a little feel for what social media is like. What yeah. a video is. I, mean, I don't really go... care. I found no. I actually was like, this is like better than like gossip. I, know. I was like, I was going through and I was like, this is like giving yeah. me life. This is but like you Really got a funny. little feel. That's like what it's like. Like it doesn't matter what I post, if anything goes a little bit 
I'm not even going to say viral, but just like goes out a little bit. Like there's always negativity. Always. People just love, which is so funny. I've never commented on a video negatively. Like I've Me never either. been like, oh, I'm going to write that. That is disgusting. Like it's I just so weird. People are interesting in that they feel so confident that what they're saying Behind actually the keyboard. Fucking- fucking matters like i don't know you and i don't really care about no, what keep you have commenting. to say you're just pushing it out yeah like i don't really care what you say about my kitty litter box i'm like let's go to your house i bet you have like nasty shit all over your house too, people just, just love to way. feel like they're better than other people and like Why? it's sad it because starts again within you guys need some fucking meditation That's seriously i like is like well it's kumbaya sad because i also am trying i so this is a new thing i'm trying to is like i'm trying to normalize normal things like that like yeah. i want to today i posted a video showing my skin without makeup or filter on and oh, i was like good idea this I is the same 34 thing. years old like this yeah. is what it looks like there's sunspots there's fine lines you know whatever um, I'm sure like there'll be something negative on that. I was going to say like, you really, like, you look good. There's nothing there. I'm sure there'll be something negative on that. But anyway, like, it's like, I'm, I, I want, I want to show like our messy houses. I want to mm-hmm. show like the reality because I feel like social media is so fucking fake. It's, it's so, so fake. fake. I can't wait to come to your house only because I feel like mine was like, not only was I decently put together and well, yeah. like pretty good. Like that's probably the you guys. That's probably the best I'll ever look. That's like you were cute. That was a cute I had an outfit. outfit on. Yeah, that that I was tried. Cute outfit. My face was put together. My hair was good, so I was like good. And my house was clean. Like that it was wasn't pretty the clean. best. Like showing of what like I don't have my shit together every time. But I can't wait to come to your house because oh, I bet my house but is you, always messy. Well, you have three children, and you guys both work and you have animals and stuff you and you also live in the moment you're probably a stay-at-home mom that does nothing all day or something i know i, I mean i like, want to roll my eyes <laughs> i can't I, I, I mean in a way yes do i have a nine to five no but like i have pieces of like my day where it's I'm still doing... not a traditional stay-at-home mom no you still have multiple jobs no i was just texting my friend who was like i want to get together i'm like i work every monday wednesday friday saturday and sunday night for the rest of i know you're month. funny to make plans with oh i roll i know it's like, hey, are you available in like a month from now? I know. I'm like, I have the January 26th and that's it. And she was like, what the fuck? I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, people, I pet sit dogs too. So I can't like just peace out either on them. They're I paying know. me to watch their animals. I know. So. Too much responsibility. I love it. I want all their animals. They get to sleep with me too. Ugh. Yeah. Maybe that's a way I can make better money. Make what? Sleep with animals? Yeah. Like, you know how many people like if you're pet sitting, like some of them like depending if you have multiple, they, like, put them in kennels and stuff. Like, they're oh, crates. yeah. Not kennels. Like, they're yeah. crates. Well, I'm, like, welcoming all animals into my bed. I do like that. Like, so Duke never went in a crate. We never really put yeah. him in a crate. I mean, like, when he was really little, when he would, like, get into things. But um, he had really bad anxiety with the crate. And so we always let him sleep with us. And our pet sitter in New York that we used to use were at same service. Like, we drop them off, drop him off at her yeah. house. And she'd have other dogs and stuff. She always let him sleep with her. Yeah. And I was just like, like, it's such a perk. It is. It really is a perk. Like, I was like, it's just nice knowing that he's living like a similar life Mm -hmm. right now. That's right. You know, she let him on the couch with her. Like, it was like, my dog doesn't do floors. Ever. I'm not kidding you. so bougie of you. I'm not kidding you. My dog is like a bearskin rug. He only, he loves floors. But at night, he thinks he'll start pacing. Like, we were at John's parents' house and she doesn't really want the dogs on the couch. Yeah. And he was pacing. And I was like, He's not going to lay on the floor. I'm yeah. sorry. I don't know what to tell you. He's right. not. I know. Like some people when they come over and they're like dog jumps on my couch. They're like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, no, like they're all welcome on yeah. all my furniture all the time. So yeah. all right, girl. Yeah. No, for sure. Actually, I don't know if I should you get You can't take any on more. any more pets. I was going to say Trevor would have a heart attack. Meanwhile, like my husband is like, he's like, okay with him. But like this is this was not. He, I never even asked him permission if I can like have my house full. another side hustle idea guys there are so many side hustle ideas out there. oh i don't even know why people I'm aren't gonna dog start walkers babysitting, or by the way like what the hell whose baby are you watching i'll watch all the babies john was like we have so many kids in this house it's a shit show anyway bring them in <laughs> they'll stay super actually, safe. actually they will have fun they will have fun they'll be fun they'll be safe they might hear some cursing i can't promise that yeah but they're gonna have a great time and their minds will be expanded and they will have fun and you just wait till and they'll like- be safe marker all over your walls and shit all over oh, well, everything it already has it yeah that's and my true. house is really like destroyed and i just feel like if these people are charging what they're charging which is fine i mean i get it you know you're keeping a child i alive, think what i charge you know? for pet sitting is kind of a lot so i get it we all have to charge our worth i totally understand but we're hitting a point where babysitters are making what i make 
in my career. So I'm like, why am I working my career? I could be babysitting. Absolutely. And stay home with my kids yeah. at the same time. Yeah. I know. Another side hustle. Work smarter. Yeah. Like, do, I don't know. do what you need to do for yourself. I just saw someone looking for an overnight nanny. I was like, huh, I work overnights anyway. I would love to hold a baby all night. I Not will. me. Oh, I would love that. Not all night. Um, muggles, I will hold your baby doobles. for like 20 minutes and like feed it a bottle and then be like, hey, you can't. Yeah, I know. I need to get up and move again because I don't like to sit. Remember? You could walk around and do it. We could do. Yeah, but like, I when I walk around, I'll want to like multitask. I'll like want to do shit. And like I then I'll be like, oh, you have a baby. Like can't do that. So it makes me feel trapped in a yeah. way. Like I can't do the things that oh, I want to do. Oh, I love newborn snuggles. Mm. I know. I know. That's why you're better than me. No, it's not in better. So it's just ways. you're very much done. Yeah. Where I'm true. like, I I know. Oh, we're, like, we, I, uh, we have to say this for the next episode. I'm sure we've been like talking for I way know. over an hour, but we do need to talk about if you might have another baby or not. I don't know. We go back and forth all the time. Like, you're going to save it for the next episode. Okay, next episode. So. We'll talk about will I have another baby. I know. So I love our key points. Cruise cool. Yep. Um. Gypsy Rose, is, good. Gypsy is she Rose, cool or not? Situation's crazy. Um, People can make lots of money doing all different things. That's right. Vaginas are powerful. And this men, is a week. I was going to say men are obsessed with their dicks. Mm-hmm. Um, um, And we need to figure out how to make more money. <laughs> That's really all what I it think, comes down to. I don't to. know. I feel like everything should come to a crashing and like then we won't have to worry about money all the time. More money, more problems. I definitely believe in that. Yeah, I do too. Just come like garden with me well then i need to do something else if we're not gonna make more oh, money gonna i need blade. to cut my bills oh drunk girl oh, talking drunk girl talking and rollerblading yes we are gonna make the world a better place hopefully hopefully no promises but hopefully we'll get some clips of our night out yeah and we might be able to record an instance like that but then it won't be authentic and that person will be like why are you filming me but i don't care we should definitely try to get some videos of our night out to encourage we'll show you that. what a mom's night out looks like yeah and mom's night out Woo! No, I'm yeah just no, I'm going to tell John Trevor they have to take videos. All right. We'll get you on that poll, too. Yes. And, I, and I'll end my night on the poll. We'll see how good <laughs> I can do. Oh, I have a question for you. Speaking of talents and polls, this has nothing to do with it, but I wanted to ask you something. Okay. Go. Can, you, can you sing or talk with your mouth closed? <laughs> you try first. Okay. Well, I need to tell you the background I'm like, story of this. I can't. like. So I saw this girl post a video, and she said, Get, I, do you have a talent that you find weird that you're not sure if anyone else could do? And she starts singing with her mouth closed like like that. Oh. And I was like, yeah, I could definitely do that, I think. <laughs> like, I remember doing that as a kid. But so, I just tried doing it. It sounded like So throw. I was like, I was like, I wonder if this is actually, I always wanted a talent. This wasn't the talent I was going for, but I wonder if it's actually a talent or if everyone could do it. So now I'm taking poll. Can you sing or talk with your mouth like that? No, I just tried and it sounded like I was going to vomit. She was like this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just humming. Try to stay, like, try to say a word. Whoa. <laughs> no. Motherfucker, you try. <laughs> no. But you have to, like, have a little air, air come out. Oh. Mm-hmm. Then it's not your mouth closed. No, it is. Like, without moving your lips. Like, you're not talking. Oof, like oof, a puffed oof. out ventriloquist. Doesn't oof, Freya want to be a ventriloquist? Oof. Yeah. <laughs> Can she do it? Oh. Huh. She was well, she tries. No, I'm not gonna be able to do it. See? No, I really can. Okay, so we'll have to find let's find out what our talent is on our girls' night out. Our secret talent and we'll talk about it. I like all the other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's freaky! Wait. It was so good. <laughs> it was like happening, but your face was like frozen, like Oh my gosh. Whatever. Try to do it again. I can't. I'm like totally like into it now. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to sing. Look at this stuff, isn't it? What are you singing? Um, Adele. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, I'm, I'm all like, home. I'm all like, look at this stuff. I just what she was singing. It just came in my head. Okay, go. Are you watching this? I am like totally gutted. Oh, by the way, I got that word from. This is what impresses you. Naked and afraid. This is where I'm at in my life. That was so weird. You were like stoic, and then your cheeks were like frozen, but then it was like happening. Yeah. 
I think everyone could do it. I just think I can't believe you took the time to like figure it out. No, I'm I've always done it. Like I remember oh. doing it as a kid. Like I remember doing it before, and I was like, I feel like it's doable. That's pretty good. Well, thank you. So what's much. mine? I need to figure it out. I, now. I feel like left out. FOMO. I don't know. I need a different song, but it's yeah. <laughs> That's a hard no. one, I think. <laughs> There you go. So maybe my first sentence was too hard. <laughs> I'll work on it. Oh, it's kind of giving the creeps. So like you look like a ventriloquist doll, like all still, but there's like noises coming out. Like you're freaking me out. This should be in like a scary movie. See, it's freaky. It's freaky. I'm going to have like weird dreams. So now. when we're at the bar on Saturday, she just If you do that, that, I will pee my pants. If you look over and you just look at someone and you're like, like, and you all that weird shit, they're going to be like, oh my God, I can't. That's so funny. It's like those videos where they tie that invisible string to those dolls and they make it creep towards someone on the couch. Yes. And they think you're walking. Oh man. That would kill me. I feel like I could really I was like Freya little. this week. Huh? I feel like I could really impress Freya this week. She'll love it. <laughs> All right. And All right. with that, we are out, That's right? the end of that. Yeah. That's how we're going to end it. We'll wrap it up right there. Okay. I like Show it. Show us your hidden talent next week. My name is Dana. This is Julie. And this is Not Your Mom's Podcast. Make sure to subscribe so you can follow along and see our podcast next week. Woohoo. That was actually really impressive. How you make it, how you wanna, how you Thanks for listening. Make sure to follow and subscribe so you can tune in next week. How you